Wealth. They continue to grow and grow, filling the coffers of not just the king of Illyria, but now there were wealthy houses. Slave houses, trade houses, merchant houses. All of them spending their wealth on new properties. Most of them seeking land in the newly formed Anogaria, which had been a quite strong investment. The region itself had stabilised into fertile land and a wealth of people, growing fast and quick. As such, the question now turns to the next investments, with each house wanting to get their name to the coin, to be the one to finance the next expansion of Illyria. The king too had the same sentiment, Valyria needed to grow, and he had finally had the financial flexibility to grow. With the lessons they had learned from Anagaria, Valeria can now speed up the process, take on multiple projects at once, rather than relying on only one. The natural choice was to begin on both sides of the Sea of Sighs. Surveyors had predicted that Draconis was flat and fertile enough to support a major settlement, but Melior March on the other side would be a proper piece of the Empire. A strong cliff face, lowlands, enough defence and fortifications to build a proper major keep. Not only that, Melia March would be the first step into Valyria proper, a showcase that the Cinders truly were the heirs of Valyria, that only North Valyria, but South Valyria, would soon belong to them. That the dragons had died in the west, but the east was stronger than ever. As such, these merchant houses, rich in gold and power, were invited to Majesty's Keep named for the dragon which helped build its mighty walls in Dragon Pit, to present their case to the be financiers of the new realms. It would in many ways be a loan, but most houses weren't expecting most of it paid in return. Instead, they knew their rewards were going to be coming from prestige and wealth, perhaps from being awarded lands on completion. It was clear early on that two of the houses were making their case the strongest. They also happened to be two of the house's strongest in Valyrian blood. House Sycax, of the blood of old Valyria, who in many ways were old money, a family who had fled Valyria for marine, but with no dragon-riding blood in them. They now had homes and major farms and plantations in Tolos, Mantaris, Marine, and recently had financed an entire city to be built on the coast of Yunkai, with the intent to foster wealth in it, given some leniency by the regent mother of Yunkai to rule in almost their own right. Seeing that they had built a city before, they would be a good choice to foster a city again in Dracodis, even if the land was not as arable as the land in Yunkai. House Turan of Valantian blood was slightly newer money, though also of old blood, of course. Their wealth came from across Valyria, from Valantis, a place Illyria now had a land border with, to further grow community of old blood. House Turan was a second child from beyond the black walls of Atlantis, one who was set to inherit wealth but no power, and believed that he stood a greater chance to forge a new fortune than sitting on the one they already held. He showed a great interest in fostering a keep, and it was agreed that his funding should be put to work in Melior March, a good position for House Turan to continue trade with old Atlantis. And so funding was granted, and the two lands begin to grow, with both houses now in a race to produce a stable community first, both of them knowing that whoever could do so would be granted great boons by the king. The king, though, merely knew that he had a chance to see more work completed in his time, and he also suspected his time could be running up. Each day he felt more tired. There was a weakness in him now, he couldn't deny that. But, when he was alongside Majesty, when he looked upon the Empire he and his dragon had forged, Rhaegar Simba felt immortal. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the Game of Thrones, where we are continuing as Emperor, but I will call him King Rhaegar, the Magnificent of North Valyria. 63 years old, still in command, and what a command he has here. Two of his sons, 
now rule the kingdoms. There's only one son who doesn't, so maybe we should look at Astapor and claim a kingdom for him, you know. <laughs> um, we have Prince Aemond in Marine. And what a city Marine is, that's going to earn a lot of wealth. Yunkai is a good city too, but it's still recovering from our conquest of it. But uh, Jaehaerys looks like he could be a very good ruler when he grows up. But we have looked at all of our options, and we have essentially taken loans from ourselves. So our, our own wealth in Mantaris and Tolos has produced the rich houses and rich bankers, so we can now look at essentially taking loans from ourselves. But this does mean that we can't just ignore the loans and ignore the dragon eggs. These are loans that are going to have to be repaid one day. But we now have two colonies, one in Melior March and one in Dracodis. This, of course, because Anogaria, right at the end of last session, finished its production, finished creation. I genuinely did not think that Rhaegar would be alive for it, but the fact he is, he's wonderful. And this is a pretty good place. And it has the North Illyrian Barracks and Levies. What we truly want, and when we're going to get so wealthy that the game's going to become ridiculous, is when we have all of this and we start... Because I'm, I'm not going to jump right down to it. I know some people like to jump right to Valyria, but I'm going to go area by area. I'm not going to jump right to Valyria, but not only does it have Valyrian architecture, which gives you tax income, it has... Uh, is it not in... I mean, the size growth is insane. But maybe just specifically doesn't have it. But all across Valyria there are Valyrian mines. And Valyrian mines give you a crap ton of gold. I, I'll have to have a look and see where specifically they are. But they give a lot of gold and can be leveled up. So it's definitely going to be worth investing in once we get down in these parts. But perhaps by the end of Rhaegar's reign we may have three colonies rather than just one. If we could get like four colonies per generation... From now on, like we could have all of this done in a couple generations, which would be truly wonderful. Peace be with you. Yes, I looked and I got Tristan a marriage. Uh, I felt it was a good reward for his his, his conquests in Yunkai and for serving as my bodyguard. Uh, he's currently not noble, but uh, perhaps a noble uh, or raising to nobility will be his next reward because I could do so now. But I'm not going to do so just yet. I'm going to give him some time. Is Rainy's my daughter? No, this is my granddaughter. Uh, let's give her thrift. An arranged betrothal. You wish to marry uh, your cousin. Or you know, your sister, isn't it? Yeah, you want to marry your sister. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Again, we're Valyrian, we do what we want. Keep the blood pure. Queen just seen the just. So she's just taking lands from her own land here. She did she lose some land? I think she lost these two to um Itaro here. Itaro is getting very, very big. What size are they at? They're only 12k troops. Which surprises me. Maybe they're recovering from a war. But either way, we, we do have to be concerned about these these Khans a little bit. And these, um... The Frack tribes. Personally, I think they could grow very big or they could fall in like a day. So... She is at war. Who with? Well, she's being raided by the Carl of Jomo. Again, another Frack. Uh, uh. My son-in-law has passed away. This is, yeah, Visenya's wife. And now she has gone back to here. I assume probably to be his... Can I marry her to myself? This, yep, let's do it. I mean, we already have children with her. Dana has left for... I imagine she'll come back when Jaehaerys wants to marry her. Um, I mean, I probably would pay the dowry myself there, so I don't see much point in paying a dowry. Oh my goodness, he just loves war. I don't blame him. I don't blame him if he's getting paid well from selling slaves here. He's gone to another slave war. This time against Hesh. How are we doing in slaves? We have a marginal slave labour. Not great. 
maybe worth going on a slave raid. Who would even go to what would be like Morrow? Could do a slave raid on Morrow. I don't know if I've got all my troops back yet though. Not fully. He's leaving troops so I can't get him on that. Um Vassals find me intimidating. Dana just had a dragon? Oh no, she already had one. Why does it say she just got Oh she got his dragon egg? Oh wow. That's probably good news for uh, Prince Jaharis. Prince Jaharis is going to be very, very happy when um, that happens. Because now <laughs> his wife will have a dragon. And their child will have a dragon egg. I mean, he already has a dragon, doesn't he? Yes, he has a Ifalax that just got born. Um, I don't really need you as a courtier. You seem fine. Oh, I should have looked at the fact she was riding <laughs> Oh, wait, no, I do want to invite you. Come to my court. I didn't realize you had Maraxes. Yes, do come to my court. Please. <laughs> oh, that's my attention span. I go, oh, she's got bad stats and ignored the dragon she rides on. And also that she's in a saucy Valyrian. I don't know. Oh, no, I don't like it. Click that. Well, I want to buy the best education for my, my son, Jaharis. Absolutely. He deserves it. He's only just turned uh, 12, which says a lot about him as a ruler. He's got all these stats already. He basically could be ruling in his own right. But I imagine he's... Yeah, his, he's got a regent in Aereo who's uh, educating him. Can I make you a commander? Wonderful. So now we have Maraxes in our army as well. Basically all the dragons have fled to to North Lyria. I assume just because yeah Oh my goodness the Iron Throne. Wow, they're already I literally only just started Melio March and it's already reached to become an advanced colony. That's impressive. We'll give him basic defenses actually. Draconis I think will take longer maybe because Because it will. Like the game just it always has one that takes a long time. But Melio March already upgrading is a really good sign. Again, if we can get four in his lifetime, he's incredible. Oh, and the Stormlands are now at war. Of course they are. The Reach owns the Westerlands. I know this is such a weird world we're in. The Lannisters lost Castle Rock to the Plums. They still own Lannisport, though. So Lannisters not dead. They just aren't kings anymore. Again, I, maybe this this whole game will be better for me if I just look only here. <laughs> just ignore that bit of the map. Because we've got nice borders. It's just they who don't have nice borders. My prisoner has requested an audience with me. Upon meeting him, before the court, I hear he's offered to pay the ransom for his wrist personally. Sure. Baser, my, my dragon has died. And Quicksilver's flint flown into a rage. And is now hiding in on Illyria. Could release from the dragon. So they are in the dragon pit. Balerion's still not dead. Balerion, fantastic. So all of them are dying so soon. But Balerion is still out there. Being ridden by the Xano. In Firing Cross. What a weird, 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 weird game this is. Give me 150 gold. I can't believe that didn't work. This crap slave, I'm like, buy him for a million gold. Minimum. It'll be interesting if somebody goes for Quicksilver. Imagine they're in my court now, yeah. My court is just filled with dragons. <laughs> I'm not that I'm complaining. I'll happily take all these dragons. Um, let's get the private farms up. Is it my wife? Oh my goodness! My second wife! Rides Quicksilver. <laughs> Empress Maleris, we, we can ride in battle together. Oh my goodness, I can ride with my, my, my second wife into battle. She's the one who's birthed uh, Valar and Maleris. Goodness, my goodness, goodness me. I was almost hoping that Visenya would take it, but maybe Visenya 
will or Eris will try and go for um, Majesty. God, this it's the same dude who keeps piling up the loans as like some owning just a temple or a city in Marine. <laughs> like you don't need that many loans, buddy. I don't have a court position. I could have gone bad if I got ill. Speaking of getting ill, and we're stressed. All oh, right, I think the game's decided I'm a little bit too old. Oh no, I do have a court position. Why did it? That was weird. Could search for a smith, can I? I don't have a crown. I actually don't mind this idea. I'm doing this to get a crown. Yeah, get me some jewels. My dragon riding wife is now pregnant. Yeah, Meraxes is funny, right? What did, did Melena not arrive with Meraxes? Took a little while to get her. Senya is marrying to Lord Eric. We're all just all of the Cinders are just marrying another Cinder. We truly are Targaryens. Did you just get another dragon egg? Oh my goodness me. Go for the impressive but sensible, because I'm not spending 500 gold right now. I could sell slaves again, but I... Oh my god, of course many on March is going to start costing me money again. Oh god. I may have to sell slaves anyway, maybe forced into selling them at this rate. I don't want to take out another loan. I've already got one loan. At least I've got a very long time on it. My... <laughs> at this point, at this point, I just shouldn't speak. Anytime I say, oh, this person could, could one day ride on... <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, they, one day she could ride on um, Majesty, and then she goes and gets her own dragon. We have so many dragons now. I mean, I just have to think because he had so many people with him. Loxie of Yeti. Good luck with that, buddy. Um, I will have to sell some slaves from my camp. But now I can't sell any because I basically have no one in my camp, right? Yeah, I have no slaves. Let's get you... Let's struggle. So he has all of these armies here, because I believe he's going to war? Like, why does he have all these armies here? So he's going to war with the rest of E.T. I don't get... I don't know why are his armies in my capital. They're going to slowly, one by one, leave my capital, I think. <laughs> Which is going to be... They're just, they're just hanging around here for a while. I didn't fully read that event, I'll be honest. I didn't realize he's going to hang out in my capital for this long. Um... We're gonna, we're gonna enter the slave traders. Oh, I don't have slave trader anymore. Oh, slave owner. Um, I've been selling so many of them. I need some new ones. I think she has seven hundred troops. Can I slave raid? Why is it a civil war? She doesn't... She's not a vassal of me. Oh, wow. So he didn't just produce one, he produced... That is impressive. Producing me a crown, a scepter, and a sword. Pretty decent ones as well, actually. Though Chimera will still be the only sword I need. Honestly, I don't even need to ram some of my armies. It looks like Marine just is going to do it all by himself. I mean, who would blame him? So it looks like any time I go to war with an Emperor title, it's going to call them up in this way, which is not great. That's not what I really want. But I think we'll just keep... If that's the case, we're going to keep a lot of North Illyria under our own vassalage. Like, what I would essentially do is hold on to North Illyria until we owned all of Illyria. Like, once we own all of Illyria, it's okay. 
Milena has died, and ugh, I've got two dragon lairs on my fucking castle now. Forge bloodline or win the war? Let's do win the war and then forge bloodline, just because it gets me a little extra prestige to win the war. And also, we're already at 69%. <laughs> So I've got a new Storm Singer. Uh, let's increase. Let's make Tristan my head general. Tristan's proved himself worthy of the title. And I mean, the council doesn't have much say anymore, anyway. We surrender under these terms. Wonderful, wonderful. There we go. Got ourselves marginal slave labor. Let's forge a bloodline. Not that, you know. Let's forge a new bloodline because these three bloodlines I'm already forged are so dull. <laughs> there we go. And then they go, go back as vassals under me. Oh, and then, okay. Now that makes sense. So he's, he's not actually going to be my lead general. I mean, again, it's it's mostly a ceremonial position, regardless. Just because is he not gonna? Okay, okay, he's sending some. That's what I was saying. Uh, because it's not much that the council does anymore. Spent time with my wife rather than this random woman. Could see slowly marching his army over into Yt. <laughs> Good luck with that, buddy. There's Malkai, so it, it is this one, yeah. You can offer him gifts, and I'll, I'll kill him. I was hoping Marine would actually send his own army and take care of this, but... I mean, it is his land. The Dragon Maraxis is built with Lair after escaping from my wife. If I had both my wives riding dragons, that would have been incredible. Oh, sorry, all three of my wives. I didn't even think of that. No, all three of my wives would be riding dragons because uh, Visenya rides a dragon now as well, doesn't she? Yeah, she just had one born to her. I'm going to look here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tristan, my wife, Malaris. I could get Aemon riding with me. <laughs> Visenya's dragon's too young to ride, but eventually I'll have Visenya ride with me as well. Uh, but no, Aemon, Aemon is a lord. I'll, I'll leave him to lead his own armies. As, as prince. We'll have Tristan ride with me instead. You say we're at Zalagan, owned by Queen Lady Hayes has died in Rosby. Well, now she doesn't even have a dragon to her name. The Iron Throne is not going to last. I can guarantee you of that. I guess I'm killing the armies of Marine for you then, am I? <laughs> Good work, son. Oh, they're going to keep running. Cowards. Oh, she tried again and she worked. <laughs> of course it worked. Oh, she rides Maraxes into... This is... This is... Truly the family of dragons. We... The Targaryens have nothing on us. Every person I know rides dragon now. Even more than the dancer dragon, really, I think. You will struggle future to overcome these events. Ah! Coward! Runs from a man on dragon back. And it said, take our armies back down. Look at this, this man. This man is 67 years old and on the battlefield he's still leading himself. Look, so you can say what you want about him. I think he's truly one of the greatest. Like, I mean... This this could be comparable to the Conqueror, really, in terms of achievement. What what in a single lifetime Rhaegar's been able to do in North Illyria. Although is the name of North Illyria better than Illyria? I I personally think calling this the Empire of North Illyria makes more sense in a, in in essence because I'm trying to legitimize myself, and I don't want to call myself like in charge of Illyria until I take this because the actual Valyria. Emperor, Empire title is impossible to form. New Valyria, like all of that. It's not happening. Um, 
you can have a bit of gold as a reward. I mean, I don't feel like I owe you anything, but you can take that as a reward. My granddaughter died under mysterious circumstances. Did... Did you kill her? Did he kill one of his... Set his... So he killed... Nerus. And now... Has married his daughter, own daughter. Okay. I mean, I'm married to my daughter. I can't complain about it. Where are they raiding? No, I'll drive them from the realm. Guess we're raising up again, boys. I don't think they're good. Uh, let's raise up these ships. And take these ships to Tolos. Get my army in these ships. Sail right to Yunkai. Back to him. They just keep coming. 100 prestige. Oh my god, there's like infinite attacks here. What I do want to do is I want to go on another slave raid war. Because it is the way to be rich. Like, it's very obvious this is how you get rich, is by doing these slaver wars. Claims to have power to transmute metal, uh, materials such as iron to any valuable metal. Interesting. Alchemist Guild, I assume, is, is gaining up some work. Melior March is already a fully formed colony. Are you, are you joking? Oh my goodness. Melion March, what an impre- Like, these four, I hope I can keep forever. Like, not forever. Like, eventually one day we'll take Valyria and then we'll own all of the, like, the Isle of Valyria. But these four would be perfect, like, central pieces to the Empire. Because we're literally basically holding Illyria and then these protectorates around it. These four we can use to protect it. Um, let's get Castle Town here, then. And let's save up to- Head to colonizing again. I assume Zokos should be next. Or maybe the Howling Bogs? If we can have these two, we can get a claim on these two. Because these two are the same duchy title. Surprisingly. Uh, which, and I mean, I don't mind going to war with Atlantis a little bit. Getting us some land. Let's get these armies back down. Maybe back down. Just double check. 68. My council was killed by armed thugs. I've lost ambitious. I, on in this circumstance, I feel like it makes sense. I'm 68 years old and I've literally, literally done everything. <laughs> I don't know how we complete the Melior March so quick. Maybe because it starts as a castle rather than Draconis here, which is like, like this is a fort. This is a fort, but it's like a different type, maybe. Because this isn't an Sossi Valyrian fort, and then this is an Illyrian keep. Who knows? Um, but let's save up. I think Zoplos or Howling Box will be next. Once again, just incredible work by my son. Uh, new Master of Whispers will be needed. Go for one that actually likes me. New court position. This you'll make a good court position. Oh, another daughter. Daenerys. Like I said, this generation we're going to stick with the Valyrian names. I think... Uh, ever since the name was given it, my grandson Rhaegar has been sleeping with a dragon egg. But it's remained cold. He also has a dragon egg. Does his brother already have a dragon? Oh god, you hear your That is disgusting. Can I have one day where I'm not having... Uh, being attacked by cow. I was just preparing to go for war. This guy's worth at least 75. No, no, he's worth 150. Yeah, press outrageous, I don't care. Oh, now they're gonna run because they see dragons coming at them. Why am I not in the center? I should be in the center, not Aemond. And then Tristan on this side.
There you go, that, that small army actually held them up here so I can catch them on the demon road. And this army can go down again! So in terms of kingdoms... Oh, where does this kingdom end? So North Valyria goes all the way here. So this is the first land we've had from Long Summer. Melior March is the first Long Summer land we've taken. Because I, as I said, I want to fully own and only have vassals in these regions. I don't want to make these kingdoms. These would be fully mine until I take Valyria. That's my hope. Then when I take Valyria, I'll sort of migrate to having these two be my, my core kingdoms. Let's get... He still, who's he at war with? Um, no, I don't care about your thing. So he's leading this army, I assume. Yeah, okay. So he he won't do his job. Not not helpful. But they're slowly clearing out here. They were just they were just having some temporary occupancy and attritioning themselves to death on my gas. Yeah, so it's all fine. The two Astapors still exist and they're not going to war with each other. I don't understand why not. I could go to war with this Astapor, which will get me a claim on the other Astapor. I kind of just want to do that. That what? They're allied to the Kingdom of the Veil? Vale? How are they allied to the Kingdom of the Veil? Vale? They're not. Right? I don't see them as allies of the Kingdom of the Veil. Vale. And then, is this Astapor allied to the Kingdom of the Veil? Vale? No, they're not. Joffrey Allen. It doesn't say how they're, they're on their side. I don't especially care. I don't think he's, he would even get here before we win this. Uh, let's get... I'll only need 7k. Get this maybe up. This, this one is is less of, I want to go to war, and this one is more like, this is just the perfect opportunity to do so. Why are there always raiders? This time I'll give them gifts, because I don't care. <laughs> like, I would rather just pay it than have the army go back. So who's joined? New Gis and the Isle of Gahim. Uh, that shouldn't make a lot of difference here. Rhaegar, Malaris, and Tristan ride together once more. Melior March has its castle town built. That gets our income up. He wants to buy Garaza. I'll still say 115. He'll say no. Oh, he'll pay it. Okay. Volantis apparently overpays. I'll keep that in mind. I don't need a loan. I guess when you're when you're at war, they'll just continually go, Do you need a loan? Do you need a loan? The answer is no, I do not. I feel like I'm single-handedly saving the Valyrian culture here with how many Valyrian families I've made. I wish to express my cons my consternation. I'm, maybe I'm done. I don't know that word. At the, at the fact that Daenerys enjoys command of your armies, when someone of higher status would clearly be more appropriate. I petition that he should be removed from command, and I take his place. He's 72 years old. Sure. He's so old that I don't think he should be a commander anyway. Says the 69 year old. Marine just coming in with 90k to go kill them. He immediately died after I did that, by the way. Maybe the shock of hearing he's not going to be commander anymore killed him. 
Or maybe it's because he was 79 years old. This army's got to be a real menace, because it's, it's, uh, like, his army's a marine, and then these Yunkai armies. Although Yunkai doesn't have, oh, he's of age now, look at him. Doesn't have a wife. But he is just absolutely 30 martial, 20 learning, 15 intrigue. He is truly based. Um... I don't really want to marry him to any of these. I guess I'll leave him to see who he marries. But what an absolute chad he is. Look at him. And he rides up on Gloombringer. Why am I asked? I'm already I already have to say the what the Oh Well Let us Analyze what just happened here. I assume the war has changed in the fact that we are now fighting the full of Astapor? Or are we still at war? Let's have let's analyze the situation. Are we still at war? We are no longer at that war. Okay. So all of these armies should come back to Marine. As shall and these boats will go to Marine as well. Majesty has flown in a rage and has flown and hid in Illyria. And my father has died. I can only assume a pure, well, okay, severe stress, because he had, that's what it will say when he has stress. But I mean, at the age of 69, I feel it is natural causes. Although I have no money. Why do I have absolutely no money? Am I going to have to sell some slaves? Yeah, I'm going to have to sell some slaves. Damn it. To afford his funeral. Just a family. Or... Yeah, all lords, all lords of the realm will be invited. I mean, he deserves it. But let's get all of these armies back to... Marine. I now have to decide on a new council. Okay, how are we doing these lands then? I still own this and it's still a colony, so I don't exactly want to give it away. I own Marine and the kingdom beneath it. Do I want to give Marine to my son or how much is Marine earning? Look, I mean, part of me just wants to keep Marine because it's just going to earn me so much money holding Marine myself. So, oh, Faxalix got his own custom picture now because he's 21. Faxalix of Illyria is now our dragon, and Majesty is hiding in the dragon pit. So we'll, we'll see who claims Majesty, because immediately that's going to be a story. I hope it is, like, my brother or something who claims it, because that would be a story all in of itself. Okay, so none of you will be able to return home. We'll take you back to Marine as well. So all of these are going back to Marine. Um... I, I'll have to think of this because why can I call a great council? Prince Jaharis is a questionable heir. My son is a questionable heir. Is it because he doesn't have? I mean, he has a dragon, but I assume it must be because of his heir that perhaps his father's unknown, or that we don't trust him. His father, because his parents both have white hair. But he's just my, my friend, so I don't see a need to call a great council, even if he fucking sucks. I just don't think I'll give him Marine. I don't... I said Marine would be the air title, but would Aemon give up Marine? I don't know. Because right now I hold seven, so I'd have to give away something. And I want to hold at least these four. Yeah, if I want to hold these four plus this, I have to give away something. We'll give away Angagor uh, uh, Anagaria. But who to... Hmm. Rhaegar's my son. The Valar. My brother. Um. Or. Nephew Rhaegar. 
Eris. I think I'll give it to maybe Tristan. Yeah, we'll give we'll give Tristan Anagaria. He's he served long and well. He deserves that title. This fleet can be disbanded. I'm fine saying one above the main limit. Um, spend lavishly on food. I want to see my son prove that he's worthy of Marine. But I also want to see how much money I have from holding Marine. Have a proper feast. Proper funeral. For my father. The more Reachman that read Empress Dowager... Oh, Reachman read that she drank at the feast. The louder she talked. So she just... My mother is just a drunkard. Let's see. Summer is nearly at an end, so autumn and the harvest is upon us. The feasting shall celebrate this time with food from throughout North Illyria, including boar, goose and berries, salmon, lobster, brought, from, brought to Illyria. As part of this, you must decide how much of the harvest to set aside for winter. Hmm. I'll, sp I'll spend the gold to get a large harvest going. He's father. He's passed away. What a what a truly remarkable man and a remarkable life. Return all those troops. Um, one hundred and fifteen. I'll sell him. Can't want more. Defeated the raiders. And then once we take down this army, we can actually survey the situation we have here. This is expiring. We'll take a look at that in a second. So, let's end off this session by actually analysing what we're looking at in North Valeria. It's unfortunate that that support war ended up coming to nothing, but we can still Dragon Raid and we can take a look at the actual, like, take this kingdom as Aemons now. But we... Oh, and it's, it, of course it's a truce with her. It will give a focus on stewardship. So. North Valeria without... Rhaegar. Almost feels weird to say it. Rhaegar is gone. Passed away. And all of his fucking money got split between his kids, so I barely got any of it. So I need to wait for the month tick to see what my monthly expenses actually are. Uh, but I'd rather blood you to manage trouble combat. Um... I didn't know we could do... I didn't know trial by combat were a thing in our culture. Let's wait until the month takes to see what our actual expenses are. Okay, so it, it, no expenses. So our army costs about 7 gold, we have 9 gold. But all of this was essentially done within the reign of Rhaegar. Rhaegar is the reason we have all of this, really. Rhaegar Cinder, the father of North Valyria. And that small little isle in Slaver's Bay conquered Melior March, conquered Mantaris, conquered Tolos, conquered Blackcliffs. Or I guess he just conquered these to begin. Settled down in Anagaria and Melior March. Began the building of Draconis. Conquered Marine alongside his son. Conquered Yunkai alongside his sons and his wives. And now we sit in a world where the Westeros is just this mess of a pure, powerful reach. And all these kingdoms that 
too powerful really to be controlled by a throne. Whereas here in North Illyria, we have so much strength and power. So many of us ride upon dragons. I mean, I ride upon Faxilix. My son rides upon Ifilix. Uh Let's go for the whole family, because my father ride, rode upon Majesty, who is now fled. Elena, my mother, rides upon Maraxes, which, I mean, that alone is has got to be something. Visenya, my sister, rides upon Tick Tickum, although I don't think Tickum is going to be able to fly. I don't know if he's of age to fly yet. Uh, I believe none of my wives ride, do they? No. But my brothers ride, my son rides, my old cousins now ride. <laughs> so many in Cinder have dragons or their eggs. And we ourselves have so much to be looking at. But I would say that only now, once these troops have fallen, would we have the true coronation of Aemond, and that is where we will leave it. With the question looming over Aemond, can this 33-year-old compare with the lengths, and the lengths and the greatness that his father established, that the father of the bloodline established, all of these incredible things done within his life? Is it possible for Aemond to even compare? I mean, he is an absolute fucking lunatic, but what a fighter he is. What a fighter he can be. And I think he can only get better as time goes on. So, with questions between Rhaegal and Jaehaerys, questions about our own brother, Prince Jaehaerys, who, without much of an army, still is looking like an absolutely incredible ruler and leader at the age of only 16. Half my age, yet he could be a real contender against my title. And Majesty remains an unknown. Whoever should claim Majesty? Well, if it's one of my bloods, questions could be asked in North Valyria. I truly hope that Valyria, that uh, Majesty remains within my family. That is going to be interesting to see all of these factors which rise, but... Undoubtedly, none of this would have happened if it wasn't for the rule and reign of Rhaegar. All we can hope is that he is a name that shall be forever remembered, and that his family will continue what he has done. Because the only thing that could take down the House of the Dragon is itself. Until next time.